Hey everybody, Gina DeLuca here. We have a big canvas today. We have a 12 by 24. And I had a brilliant idea while we were driving the back roads towards civilization to do a multi-pour straight pour. Um, what I want is to get concentrated areas of cells of color. Uh, no silicone in this. Um, the DecoArt Americana line is matte. And what I have found is when I'm doing a straight pour, matte paints are the ones that sell. So today's colors will be coral blush, Royal Fuchsia, Bahama Blue, Citron Green, and the yellow is Liquitex Basics Cadmium Yellow Light Hue. Always a good cell maker. These paints are mixed one part paint, two parts Floetrol, and thinned with my mixture of 90% water and 10% Floetrol. Then uh, the consistency should be thin enough that when you drizzle the paint into your cup, it does not sit on top of the paint. It just immediately dissolves. If it sits on top and then dissolves, that is too thick. Okay, let's get our cups ready. This is uh, this canvas would require about 10 ounces of paint. So I'm gonna do about two ounces in each cup. And we'll start with our blue in each cup. That might be a hair too much. That still looks like too much. Okay. And now for our cell makers. Your paint that you are expecting to sell should sink. And if it doesn't sink right away, you want to add some water to it and thin it out and that should help. I'm just eyeballing these. So fingers crossed. But they're all sinking, which is what we want.
I smite you and your whole family. I'm sorry to animal lovers out there, but they've crossed the line. They've ruined too many paintings. Okay. Let's put down a base coat. Okie dokie. I'm going to start with the middle. Alrighty, let's pop these bubbles. I'm not sure about these lines in between. Maybe next time I will do the background the same color as what should be falling to the background. But this might be cool too. Let's do some stretching. The more I stretch, the more cells will pop up. It's very interesting how this citron green and the yellow almost look the same.
I'm trying my best to keep this in frame, but it's, it's a big piece. Oh, I can't even finish tilting before the bugs are attacking this thing. Okay, I'm gonna let this sit for a bit and see if I get any more cell action in here. You can tell how the different paints react. Um, very interesting. But I definitely think if I had used the blue as the background and didn't have these lighter blue lines that this would have a much different effect. So probably, probably tomorrow's video, you'll be seeing some version of that. All right, back in a few. Okay, here it is. Uh, some of the cells are kind of oddly shaped. Wasn't exactly what I had imagined as if it ever is. So I'll do another crack at this and see what happens uh, without using a different colored back, or um, to make sure all the, the background colors are the same. I don't want those lines there. I would like it better if it were blended. So we will do that next time. Thanks for watching. Please like and share and subscribe and all that good stuff. Check out the description box for more information on the items used in this video, the Amazon link to go to my Amazon store and find the items, but also anything that you purchase by entering through my store, I receive a commission off of. So if you're buying a giant lawnmower from Amazon, hook a sister up. All right, y'all, I hope you have a beautiful day. Go make some art.